Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and it's the final episode of my Cinema Sunday and today I'm going to be looking at Vanity Fair. If you watch my channel you will know that recently I DNF'd Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray after 500 odd pages. I just couldn't read any more. It was a shame because it was a book that I was quite excited about. It's the story of Rebecca Sharp, who is the daughter of a painter and an opera singer who has been sent to sort of a boarding school for um, le young ladies, but she is used to tutor the girls French and to be sort of a dog's body um, and given sort of food and board. And she goes with her friend Amelia Sedley to her house for a week before taking up her governess position. And it's really a story about their friendship. It's about Rebecca Sharp and how she wants to climb the social ladder. It's about morals and society and hierarchy. And I had really high hopes. It sounded like a really interesting book. The problem I had wasn't necessarily the plot or the story because I feel like that could have been really good. I feel like this book could have been condensed into 400 or 500 pages. I felt like there was big chunks where it was just drawn out and it was um, a lot of uh, commentary on those sort of societal things and I felt like it would have been better had it not been sort of these massive long chapters worth of sort of brain dumps of information and had that sort of information been interspersed with the plot and just sort of been there that would have been a lot um easier to palette for me and possibly would have made the story move along quicker and stopped me from dnfing um however um i liked the characters and i liked the ideas of the characters so i was really keen to watch the film so obviously my rating for this was zero because i dnf'd it um so i decided I was going to watch the film and that has a, a whole host of um, celebrities in. The main role of Rebecca Sharp is played by Reese Witherspoon and we have Reese Ifans as Dobby, Jonathan Reese Myers as George Osborne, Ramola Garay as um, Amelia Sedley who was in I Capture the Castle as well I believe I've been told by my friend Alicia and I just loved the idea of this sort of star studded cast and uh, so I decided to give it a go. The film was um, makes me feel like a hypocrite because the film takes out um, a lot of this social commentary, a lot of this sort of brain dump isn't in there. However, I did feel like I was lacking something and that the bits that I had also read the book for really gave me some groundwork into sort of the backstory and how things were. So um, I felt the film felt quite surface level and I found it quite useful having read those bits of the book to have that background knowledge of what was going on. So it was a difficult one um, with the film for me actually because I really enjoyed it because it was faster paced, it moved along, it didn't have a lot of these sort of slow periods. However, had I not read any of the book, I think I would have found it quite sort of mediocre and not really delving into any of the sort of the subjects and the topics that the book did. I definitely felt like in the film, uh, Becky Sharp is a much more sympathetic character. In the book, I did not like her at all. She seemed money grabbing and um, she, I didn't like the way she was with her son. I didn't like her whole demeanour and I felt like she was very manipulative and in a nasty way. Whereas in the film, I felt like she was manipulative, but I felt like I had sympathy for her in her plight and her quest and I didn't feel those same um feelings towards it as I did in the book I, I just felt more for her plight and I felt more sympathetic towards her and I didn't feel she was quite as vindictive as it felt like she was in the book so that for me was a plus um because I like to have likable characters so all in all um the things that I love the most about the film it was beautifully colorful I love the way it was shot I love the costumes um and that element to it that really made it come alive for me uh, I found it fascinating 
meeting with the sort of Indian element with Joss and with India and uh, with the army. And so I really liked the story in the end. Um, and I'm pleased that I found out the ending and I found out what happened to Becky Sharp and what happened to Amelia. And I'm pleased that I managed to watch the film so that I got a sort of conclusion to the story. And if I was going to rate the film, I would rate it probably a three. It was good. Um, but as I say, it felt a bit surface and I felt like had I not read those chunks of the book, perhaps um, I wouldn't have understood some of the dynamics as well. So I'm a bit torn really because I DNF'd the book because I didn't like those brain dumps um, and those information dumps. But if I didn't have those, I wouldn't have enjoyed the film as much as I did. So yeah, I think I would definitely recommend watching the film because uh, the film it takes up less of your life. It's like two hours and 20 minutes and the book takes a lot longer. Um, I wouldn't recommend the book. I just found it was a little bit hard going and I know that the girls who finished it enjoyed it but didn't love it. One of them said that she would not have finished it had it not been for the group pushing it along. And I think it was her second time trying to finish it. So it's obviously one of those books. It's not going to put me off reading classics, um, but it was, yeah, it just wasn't the one for me. So I DNF the book. I would give the film three stars. I definitely recommend watching the film, but I wouldn't recommend reading the book, unfortunately. Anyway, I've quite enjoyed doing these. It's forced me to get through some of the uh, videos and, and films that I had on various different things iTunes and Netflix and Amazon and I had them on my different lists so I'm pleased that I did this I'm definitely not a film reviewer so I apologize for my lack of um, the right terminology and possibly not going as deep into um, film stuff as I should but uh, I'm coming at it from an amateur um, just a, a somebody that likes watching films and I hope that you can appreciate that and yeah, I've really enjoyed doing it. So thank you for watching and commenting and chatting with me. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now, booktube.